huge past lives, dreams, and soul travel is the concluding portion of my faux Ek Worldwide Seminar for 2020. The program the 20, for the 25th of the fifth month of 1434, I, I mean, this is when the paper was finished writing, on Harold Klemp's Youth Acts of Modern Prophet about Life, Love, and God. Um, so, past lives, dreams, and soul travel. Our dreams can help show us how we are really doing. Like everything, there is a spiritual side to dreams. That can car belief is that soul experiences each day like a thousand, uh, like a hundred bodies do. Well, there's a lot of changes happening in the brain and the body like all the time. That's why there's hope to be different people despite, you know, what our bodies have been through in the past. Well, different character traits anyways. Spiritual exercises are a time to pay attention to the inner life. Sleep is a time where we are least likely to be distracted from our spiritual life. Everyone dreams, even if they don't know it. The mind is far more limited in what it can grasp compared to the soul. One can learn to remember dreams by trying to remember detail and preparing to record them before you even have them. The messages may only hint at truth. And they take a lot of thought to decipher them. Dreams can seem jumbled, but an Ekkar one is taught that you may just be shifting awareness of soul in different situations going on at once. Some dreams seem prophetic, but they may only be preparing us for possibilities of the future. Some people may settle on the same thing being a possibility and all have the same dream. Falling in a dream or that sensation in, is ascribed to coming back from the higher six planes to the lower five planes of existence. In the 12 realm Ekankar system, we have the sounds of the planes in descending order called the music of God, music of the universe, sound of whirlpool, music of woodwinds, thousand violins, deep humming, heavy winds, single note of flute, buzzing of bees, running water, tinkle of bells, and the roar of the surf. Female madrigals are also at the fourth or mental plane in this interpretation. Our dreams prepare us for spiritual advancement, but it can also generate negative effects. Spiritual practice may burn away some of this. Deja vu can be related to having dreamt or seen something like it in a vision. Ekankar teaches that the dream of waking up in a dream is a sign of spiritual advancement. They teach the second plane is around 150 levels. Other levels are said to have multiple levels too. One might just be remembering moving from one level to another. Ekankar teaches that the dreams of yourself and situations before the existence of your current body are proof of a past life. Are they really, though? Can you think your way and having experiences that can seem like past lives, too? Are past lives around chosen details of an objective reality? Some animals are said to have visionary experiences, too. One can visualize our dream much further into such matters that science can confirm. It is possible. Ekankar wants you to think that there is often a symbol of their leader present in your dreams and visions. Either way, study your dreams to help with self-realization. Ekankar asks you to think of a collective unconscious you share. al Quran Surah 4, at 1, has been interpreted as people sharing the same soul you know, the source of intuition, some people would say. Your dream self is a real you that teaches you about yourself and others. Practice will teach you what is literally true. 
and what is representative. Dreams are not as real as soul travel. Dreams are like a filtered view of soul travel. Don't be afraid of either sort of experience, or you can be kept from the depths of it. Imagining it taking place is likewise a lesser view of soul travel. Can it really help get you to have and remember such experiences? People report working on projections of planes and their contents helps in the process of having more spontaneous experience with it, at least. Bad dreams or working out bad experiences are fears. Interests we have are activities we do make their way into dreams. One can get good at recalling experiences and having that drop off from time to time. But it's not to worry that you're gone for good. People can work together to affect each other's hereafter. And sometimes dreams can tell you about sharing your path. Just be ready for the reality behind these wonders in creation. And so throw in some extra thoughts here. I'm gonna, I'm not sure how well. Oh, you can see the color a little bit better here. Although I altered my, this chart here, but um, yeah, they, you know, uh, the cards. I lost the car here. Um, okay, that's, yeah. So the equivalent of the tracks left at bus stops. Remember from other Ekinkar programs, my Ekmaster ring here, my Q Ek upon the symbol of Sugmon. God is a noun. Life's not random. Chaos is like seeming chaos. It's like chaos is a real thing. Um, Basically, how to how to go, uh, you know. It's thought that at one time there wasn't supposed to be physical temples back in car. Now there is, and so people were to sort of psychically join. They won't say that that way. They call it soul travel, but connecting the ancient ways to the modern ways spiritual leadership, how it's much the same, how the social order is what it is, whether or not you accept these laws. Um, can you experience spiritual truth for itself? I believe that you can know that life is after death. Philosophy is not just quotes. So in that sense, I understand where Ekankar and Christianity would come from if they don't understand that point, that philosophy is more like a method rather than quotes. But so the method, the method is the method is the key, the difference of between the methods. Now, you know what a Cassandra is, right? A Cassandra is somebody that claims like a spiritual gift for everything. Now, Muhammad and the others didn't claim to be know-it-alls and they didn't claim to that sort of thing. They, um, you know, they were silent about other things. And, uh, oh, you want to deal with spiritual attacks, right? So let me, let me, look. I'm, I'm messing up a bit and 
I completely lost what I'm what I was looking for, I think. Um, but you don't just build up. You want to build a defense. You want to heal. And we got to be wary of people programming things to it, into us. Programming the perception of the spiritual life that we just don't have um, our, our, our history. Particularly when they go they get all these psychiatric drugs, you're dealing with people with memory problems and all sorts of stuff. So just be careful how society, how orders, you know, or, uh, you know, groups of people may be trying to affect you, individuals, and take charge of your spiritual life. If you get nothing else out of this, um, you're responsible for your spiritual life. You have to, uh, your cause and effect is something that you have to deal with. Your firmly held beliefs are something that you have to deal with. The reality itself, whether you accept it, um, you're actively playing a role to direct it. This is all your responsibility.